Welcome, Knowledge Boners, to the Knowledge Boner Podcast. I'm your host, Dylan Starr, with my co-host, Wally Wynn. And today is Rant Friday. Rant Friday. Rant. <laughs> so today, you know, we, we have a little fun with it. We just kind of go on a rant about, you know, irritating topics, give you guys our two cents and, uh, you know, how we feel about certain things. And the topic today is going to be why people fear entrepreneurship is just flat stupid. Like it's <laughs> unknown. Uh, I'm serious. This unknown fear of why, you know, oh, we, well, that, that's that's so risky. And and if you do that, I, I have to stay in my in my job because it's it's secure and it's it, it's stable. You know, actually, that brings a good point. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up a, a story about a girl. I'm very proud of her. She's she's a teenager. I don't know, she's probably like 18 or 19. She's still in her teens. And she posted in a group recently about um, confronting her parents and grandmother and everyone about her, her, her entrepreneur journey, um, which she was terrified. She was terrified of telling her parents what it was she was doing, um, how she wanted to be in sales, how she wanted to help out influencers, have her own business. And so she posted telling them what happened. And basically she confronted her parents and, uh, told her mom and dad what it was that she was going to be doing. Her mom's just like, I don't even, you're, you've changed, which is actually a good thing. <laughs> but um, I, we don't even know you anymore. Her dad, oddly enough, was supportive at first until she said that she has no desire to continue going to school. And then she said her dad's face went pale. And her grandmother, who she thought would definitely be there, was like, you're, you know, you're, you're making a mistake. You're being immature. You know, even if you could be successful, you only have one in a million chance of even being successful. And there's no way you're going to make it happen. You're being very, you know, immature. So she talked about how she knew that she wasn't telling them for their, their recognition. She was, she wasn't asking for their support, but she still, she still cried afterwards. She bawled her eyes out, but she was also kind of relieved, right? She got it out there. And we've talked about this before, right? We talked about how your, your family, your friends and everyone, you know, they're going to try to hold you back and they're not going to be supportive. They're not going to understand. That's normal. But why do people have this fear of having your own business, entrepreneurship? And, and they said things like, why can't you just wait until after you finish school? And her dad told her, why don't you just, you can get yourself a stable job, a stable income. And, and, and the same words that I hear over and over again, stability stability <laughs> well but the reality of the situation is is there's no such thing as stability let's be honest okay because it's not because yeah let, 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 even if i get a you know a, a, if a job in a, in a big company right mm -hmm. that company goes bankrupt i lose my job what do i do then mm -hmm. doesn't look like stable to me right <laughs> no absolutely i remember years ago um you know my dad's a crna puts people to sleep gives epidurals he makes really good money now uh, he's doing about 200k i think a year maybe a little more. Mm -hmm. um, and then the hospital was going bankrupt. They got bought out by somebody else. Um, and he was going to have to do cuts. So they didn't know who they're going to let go. So his whole family was terrified. Mm -hmm. um, and, and so it just shows you like, yeah, you can have this stability quotations and, and make good money, but anything can happen in a blink of an eye. And if something does happen, you, you know, that's all, you know, you have to move, sell your house. You have, you have no other skills besides having to find employment. Like there's guys, there's nothing wrong with trying to polish skills. that's going to make you money on the side. Mm -hmm. That's what well, we're talking about. What's terrifying is to rely on that. You know, you think about you know you 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 know many people you know when they say when they have their nine to five job, like let's say they're making sixty thousand dollars a year, right? Mm -hmm. They're they're relying on that paycheck every month, month to month to month to month, right? And then a lot of them aren't, aren't you know trying to invest or you know build other assets or invest in themselves at all. You know what I mean? They're just like living. They're living at that sixty thousand. They're living that sixty thousand dollar lifestyle, right? But the reality yeah. is, as soon as that's yanked from you, if you didn't save any money, if you didn't do anything, what are you going to do, guys? What happens? <laughs> nothing stable in life. What happens if you get sick? What happens if you get so sick, your job can't pay for you while you're out, and you have to be out a month? You have to be out of work for a month or two, Right. Even if they even if they gave you some kind of like a week of six pay out of the, those two months, just a week, you have nothing to rely on. You have, you have nothing like if you have to be physically be there to be able to make money. That's is that is that really stability? 
is that really safe? Like, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm curious. I mean, do people really think in their head, like, oh, this is, this is a safe space. This is where I'm protected. Nothing can go wrong. Companies downsize all the time. What if your manager is threatened by you and just decides to let you go? Whereas, you know, if you're, you guys understand the way we look at entrepreneurship is like, yeah, don't get me wrong. It's, it's fucking hard. It's not easy. If it was easy, of course, everyone would be doing it. But our future is in our own hands. Like we make our own decisions. You know, we, we create our own outcomes. We don't have to worry about somebody else dictating what's going to happen. You know, so it's, it's up to us. So you just got to ask, you know, which one's safe? Why not balance the two? What are your thoughts on that, Wally? <clears throat> so you're saying balance the two in the sense of, uh, you know, start a little side project, side, side, start a side business, right? Or, or, yeah, or just go all in in general. Yeah, hundred, hundred, yeah, hundred percent. Like, if you do want your stability, right? And 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 I think what it is 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 that people don't understand that it's, it's literally just skills. That's all it is. Like, kind of sales or talking to people or outreach. Like, this, this, you have this whole fear of doing something outside of work because you think it's risky. But you're just learning a skill. That's all it is. Do you ever go play hoops? Do you ever shoot basketball whenever you get off of work? Do you ever play sports? You consider that risky? Is that scary to go and 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 you know when you throw the ball, it's probably not going to go in the damn hoop. So what the hell is so scary about doing it over and over again and realizing that you're going to get better? I don't I mean I, I don't know. I don't get it. Like some it just when I when I hear those words of like oh being a business owner is it's too risky. Yeah. Well, the reality is is and and maybe you know I, and I took I might have taken this out of out of context a little bit, but but I'm going to use it here. Because it applies. My mom used to tell me all the time when I was growing up, you know, she's like, I didn't want you to work hard. Right? I want you to work. I didn't, I didn't want you to work hard. So what does that mean? It's like, okay, so, you know, the kind of work that most people do now is not freaking physical labor. Okay? <laughs> like, you guys are, most people are not out of construction job, you know, out there, like, you know, in the freaking heat, you know, picking up 80 pound, 80 pound bags of concrete, like doing like hard manual labor. A lot of people are in office jobs. You know, you're, you're talking crunching numbers, you know, typing on a keyboard, like, you know, like, like not manual labor. Like, are you really doing hard work? You know what I mean? <laughs> like, is, is it really that difficult? That would that, that, be my question. So, and so, you know, I, I feel like in general, people are just lazy. You know, they've gotten used to the, to the whole, like, I'm going to be in my office for 40 hours and they don't hustle. Now, I know plenty of people who work a nine to five, but then also have an entrepreneur mindset in their job. So they're always trying to grow and and implement things and even like start their own little side businesses. So there's also a way to do that. But I would say for the general public, you know, most people are just zombies and they just kind of go through and they're enjoying their, you know, 40 hour a week paycheck that that's consistent and is safe and they don't have to work hard for it. You know? Yeah. And, yeah. I think, you know, that, that's, that's exactly what it is. It's just that they just want to be, it's, it's like, they're, it's like they're trapped in a vortex. Like, it's like, okay, I'm here. I know I'm here from nine to five, but it's going to be a predictable check. You know, I know it's going to be consistent. I'm not going to put in my best effort to do anything because I really just want to show up and get my check. But at the same time, like, oh God, I don't want to be here. I hate this. I don't want to be, I just wish I could be home, take my clothes off, just relax. I'm going to watch some TV and be done with it. Oh, when's the weekend going to be here? Come on Friday. I know three more days, three more days till Friday. And then it's over. Then rinse and repeat. Like, do you guys really like that's is that what life is and that is that stability to you guys? Like I don't I don't fuck Is that really how you wanna live your life day in and day out? Nine to five, coasting along, hating what you're doing, looking at the clock, just waiting for it all to end, happy and excited for your weekend day in and day out, just caught in this vortex whole trap of hell. You know, I, we've all been there, hated it, it was miserable. I would much rather grind my ass off, you know, doing what I enjoy than be stuck doing something that doesn't make me happy. I mean, I don't know. I don't get it. I mean, how do you feel about that? No, I mean, I, I agree with that. I mean, I remember back when I had a normal job, like, you know, I didn't really, I saw the, I saw the sun. Like, I worked 12 hour shifts. Right. So, you know, I would, so the sun would come up in the morning and then by the time I would, you know, leave work, the sun would already be down. So, 
you know, I saw the sun for like, you know, maybe like, you know, 10, 15 minutes when I was driving to work every day, but otherwise not at all. And I just lived in a building and that sucked. <laughs> it was the worst shit ever. <laughs> Can, you know, what's you know what, you know, what's bad. And I know people are listening to this going to be a little late. I know I'm not the only one that fucking did this. I see people doing this all the time. You know, it's bad in your job when you purposely like take bathroom breaks or have to go take a shit just to kill time. <laughs> Just, just so you don't have to be back in that 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 fucking office being miserable. It's like, be like, all right, I can kill twenty minutes here and there if I can, if you just go to the bathroom three or four times a day. I can kill an hour. <laughs> yeah, or or you know, or you talk to someone. I I remember, you know, well, like, well, good thing I don't work at the hospital, else I would get fired for this. But <laughs> you know, the you know, back in the hospital at the bottom floor, you know, it was pretty much unsupervised because I worked in the ER on the bottom floor was like the critical patients, right? So it's people that came in CER, but, you know, are going to be there for a little while, like three or four days, right? Mm -hmm. So whenever patients would come into that unit and it was my turn to work down there, you know, I was happy because, you know, it was empty when I got there. But, you know, within the first two hours, that that, that thing is full. And those guys aren't, aren't going to go anywhere for the next, like, three, four days, right? Mm -hmm. So, so you know, by the time my, my, you know, ward, my unit fills up, like, I don't have to work again and I have 12-hour shifts. So you you're looking at like twelve like two hours where I'm working and then after that I'm just sitting there hanging out like watching TV, doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's just frustrating. I mean, I, I guess everyone has their own opinions on it, guys. But I mean, maybe if you're listening to this, you can relate. If you can relate, you know, let us know. You know, post in the Reddit subgroup, post in the comments if you're on YouTube. You know, let us know if you're working a job that you hate or what your thoughts are. And, and, and if you are working a job, you know, just kind of think about it right now. Like, what if I told you, you know, tomorrow, be like, okay, you know, you're unhappy. I want you to quit. I want you to quit your job and go start uh, a business venture, right? What kind of thoughts cross through your mind? What kind of fears, you know, hold you back? You know, does your heart, does your heart start racing? Does your blood start boiling? Do you start yeah, sweating? I, I I'd venture to say that uh, that a lot of people right there, when you when you gave them that picture of, yeah, I just told you to go leave your job. Like I imagine most people's heart just picked up a beat right there. They're like, oh, absolutely, absolutely, because everyone has that fear. They have this this anxiety over it, and they did this like it's just just tor this tor guys. There's always going to be. Guess what? If you fail, there will always be another shitty job you can go to. Hundred percent. There will be. There will. I don't care what the media tells you or how the news, you know, has filled your head. There will always be a shitty job available for you <laughs> as a last resort. I promise you. So if you know that you're unhappy and, and, and you're just terrified to take a leap of faith into something that you're passionate about, something you know is going to make you happy, you know, don't let your, don't let fear hold you back. I mean, you only, you only have one life. Like this is it. Yeah, I mean, unless you believe in other things, like, you know, you're going to come out and be a freaking ant or whatever the hell people think they turn into. Maybe you'll come back as a tree. It doesn't sound very fun. So until you turn into a fucking tree, <laughs> you know, enjoy the one life that you have and don't be fucking miserable. <laughs> I just can't imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, uh, I'm turning into a tree. I mean, that looks fun. What, what, what do I do? Oh, I just stand here. Yeah, <laughs> just just stand. Here. At least this is it. It's my second life. This is what it was all about. And then then you're then you're just you're just like looking there, thinking like, man, remember that old life? I really remember, remember. I actually got to move around in my office job at least. At least I couldn't. I like I like, you know I, I didn't like to stand here. Now I have to stand here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least in that office job. You know what, man? I really wish if I can go back to that other life, I wouldn't have just sat at that damn office job hating it. I really wish I would have just done something more exciting. <laughs> But I didn't, and now I'm a fucking tree. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be the that'd be the hell. But yeah, guys, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know on Reddit. As always, you know, thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for those we shouted out for subscribing. You know, appreciate anyone that does um, follow and subscribe on YouTube as well as Anchor. Um, you know, thank you guys so much for that. Uh, if you do love and support the channel, uh, we do have it open to accept donations. So we do appreciate any support. Anyone that donates, we will happily give you a shout out on this podcast. Um, you know, all that money will go into uh, upgrading to equipment, possibly doing video alongside, using as outreach to get better influencers as well as entrepreneurs on here to give you guys value. So if you do, thank you so much for the support. 
And uh, that's it for Rant Friday. We hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Really ponder and think about what we talked about today, um, especially if you're in a situation where you're like, yes, yes, today is Friday. If you have to tell yourself, guys, yes, today is Friday, and you know that tomorrow and Sunday's coming along and Sunday night, you're like, fuck my life, tomorrow is Monday, then something is fucking wrong with you. Absolutely. And you this might be the chance. first weekend. This might be the first weekend for you where you say, you know what? This is the last fucking Monday that I'm ever going to do. Might be this weekend. You might say, you know what? Fuck Mondays after this and, and take your journey. Take that leap. And uh, I'm not saying that you should 100%. I'm just saying that if you feel like that would make you happy, I would more than support that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we don't think I mean, Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays, it's all the same for us. Like, I mean, we, we still do, we still do work on Saturdays just as much as we would do on a Monday because, you know, we're we're entrepreneurs that doesn't change, but we don't get like more excited for it being Saturday. It's just another day, (laughs) you know, like there's never that stress for, oh gosh, it's Monday, like zero. That was, I, I can honestly say being on this business journey, that has been the biggest relief in my life. Cause I know I've been there, man. It's stressful as hell when you know it's Monday and you're just like, I got to go back to that week of torment. It sucks. But like now, you know, not going through it, it's been, I mean, Ooh, I mean, how, how, you know, has that had an impact on you as well? Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I, you know, I used to work, like I said, the hospital shifts. So I'd work four or five days in a row, 12 hour shifts. Mm -hmm. And then I'd have two days off, but you know, yeah, not not going to the one wanting to go to that first day. Absolutely. You know, you're just, you know, you're you're rested. You know, you're coming over the weekend. You're like, oh, you know, I had a good time Saturday. I'm just chilling on Sunday. Oh, crap. Dang it. I have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning and work at a job I hate and, and pretend like I'm, you know, having a good time and smile at people and interact and all that stuff. And, you know, you'd be so you it's kind of wonder why, you know, people have issues at work, you know, because they seem unhappy or they're, they're having a bad attitude. Well, of course they are. They're miserable. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no, exactly. So, again, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and we will see you back on Monday.